We've got our biologic shaped mesh material here. We've got one piece, the, I've got the deep surfaces facing each other. I'm gonna sew them like this, but before I sew them, I'm gonna just contour this pita pocket. So I put the expander on here and I mark out the edges and I actually cut these off on both out the gates so that it's gonna be shaped. Okay, so here we are. I've got these two pieces now. Again, I've got them set up so that the deep surface is facing each other. This is the, um, this is the smoother surface, the ADM. And I'm gonna sew this all the way around with a running continuous permanent stitch. Okay, so here I've sewn this. And now remember, the surface I want on the outside, I've kept here intentionally so that when I flip it, the seam is uh, internalized. And I've made basically what looks like just kind of a, what I call a pita pocket. And I'm gonna use this pita pocket to wrap around the expander. First, I'll pass it inside. And at first, it'll look like we only have partial coverage, but I'm gonna actually pull this around so that I'm gonna cheat the back surface so that I can pull more of this toward the front end. And I'm gonna use this tab up here, so I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But right now, you can see we basically get full anterior coverage of the device, partial coverage of the back, and I'm gonna actually put little incisions here to bring the tabs up. Now, I've positioned this once again to cover the entire anterior surface. I've, uh, I'm going to put a stitch here on the front in a minute, and I've put a stitch in the back just to prevent it. What I'm going to do is get the tabs out here. I make a little cut in the material over it, and then I just use that little cut to flip the tab out. And then I'll sew this so that it doesn't flip back in. I'll use these tabs. I'll do the same here. So here's the final product. As you can see, I've, I've made the slit here, a slit here. I've brought these tabs out. I've sewn them in place. The back is partially covered while the anterior part of the device is totally covered. And you can see the seam isn't on the bottom, it's actually a little bit up higher. The fact that this is um, meshed, we've got a drain on this device here underneath. This is the uh, Aloex device and you can see that drain will still be able to pull fluid uh, through this meshed uh, material. So this is basically the final what I call pita pocket. And this can accommodate, this is a um, 400 something cc uh, device. These exact si same size pieces will actually go all the way up to 650 and even a 700cc device I've used them on. You just have to tailor how much you cut off the ends. Thanks.